Jay Saturday News Network. Here in an active shooter situation, uh, approximately 10.08 p.m. tonight, this evening. Uh, we had calls come into dispatch uh, of multiple shots being fired uh, from the direction of the Mandalay Bay towards the Route 91 concert that was taking place on the east side of Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, through investigation and response, we determined there was a shooter on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Um, officers responded to that location and engaged the suspect at that location. He is dead currently. Uh, he has been identified. He is a local resident. I will not release his name at this time, um, but we are interested uh, in a companion that is traveling with him. Um, and her name is, and I will provide you the name, so please be accurate on this, is Mary Lou Danley, M-A-R-I-L-O-U. Last name spelt D-A-N-L-E-Y. Uh, she is a uh, Asian female, approximately 4'11". Four foot eleven, uh, weight of um, one hundred and eleven pounds. We have not located her at this time, and we are interested in talking to her for follow up. Two vehicles we're interested in locating, and we need your assistance with that. We have a, uh, a Hyundai Tucson. <laughs> We are joined together today in sadness, shock, and grief. Last night, a gunman opened fire on a large crowd at a country music concert in Las Vegas, Nevada. He brutally murdered more than 50 people and wounded hundreds more. It was an act of pure evil. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are working closely with local authorities to assist with the investigation, and they will provide updates as to the investigation 
and how it develops. I want to thank the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and all of the first responders for their courageous efforts and for helping to save the lives of so many. The speed with which they acted is miraculous and prevented further loss of life. To have found the shooter so quickly after the first shots were fired is something for which we will always be thankful and grateful. It shows what true professionalism is all about. Hundreds of our fellow citizens are now mourning the sudden loss of a loved one, a parent, a child, a brother or sister. We cannot fathom their pain. We cannot imagine their loss. To the families of the victims, we are praying for you and we are here for you. And we ask God to help see you through this very dark period. Scripture teaches us the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. We seek comfort in those words, for we know that God lives in the hearts of those who grieve. To the wounded who are now recovering in hospitals, we are praying for your full and speedy recovery and pledge to you our support from this day forward.